Okay, so where was I? <laughs> uh, Davis likes to pee outside, so he keeps taking his pants off and peeing in our yard. It's awesome. We're working on that. Anyways, <laughs> um, I had to do a part two anyway, so I just cut it there. Um, okay, so bath. She was getting her first bath. Um, Taylor was videotaping her, and I kept asking, Taylor, are you getting her in the video? He's like, yeah, yeah, I am. I said, get in her whole body. Yeah, I am. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and he, when I looked back at the video, <laughs> he had just her head the whole time. But it was really sweet. It's cute that he was videotaping her. and um, Yeah, it was really cute. So, um, after the bath, and it may have been before the bath, I can't remember, but I was able to nurse her. Um, she latched, I was before the bath because I did it within the first 30 minutes because that's what they recommend. Um, but so before the bath, I was able to nurse her. Um, and it was just me and Jake, my husband in the room. Um, and so it was, it was really sweet and she latched right on. Um, she's been an amazing nurser the whole time. She's been so good. Um, which is really nice. Although the first couple nights I did mention she would prefer one side or the other. She would always, she would nurse on both sides, but she would always have a preference, um, which was really funny. Now she doesn't seem to care at all. Um, but she's been super good at nursing. Um, besides she swallows a lot of air at first when my milk lets down and it's coming really fast. Um, she seems to swallow a lot of air. Um, so then her belly is full of air at night and, that's, yeah, that's really painful for her, so I feel bad. Um, anyways, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, my mother-in-law came in, um, when we were giving her a bath, um, because after the bath she was going to have to go to the nursery and get warmed up and stuff, and I wanted her to be able to see her, so I let her come in for that part, which, whatever, it was, it was fun to have her there. She was helpful with the kids. She helped take a couple pictures and, and things like that, um. So, yeah, that was good. Um, and she was with me the whole time I was in the hospital. I only ended up staying one day. Um, I just stayed that night, and we wanted to leave when she was 24 hours old. Um, but it's a hospital, and getting out of the hospital always takes forever. We, um, she ended up being jaundiced, so we had to wait for them to figure out her um, belly ruin lights and things. Um, and so we didn't end up leaving until like 7.30 that night. My boys were so excited that we came home early, um, and I was so ready. That first night was miserable. The nurses were like, oh, we'll try to coordinate our times coming in, the nursery nurse and my nurse, um, and they totally didn't. They came in like every half hour, drawing my blood at like four in the morning, giving me pills all night, trying to get me to take pain pills. I'm like, I don't need any pain pills. I feel great. I took one pain pill the entire time of recovery. I really felt very good. I didn't need any. They kept bugging me. I was like, I'll let you know if I need one <laughs> instead of coming in every half hour to see if I need one. It was driving me crazy. And then like I would get Savea to sleep. Um at like I'd nurse her and she'd go back to sleep. I'd lay her down. Um and she was throwing up a lot of the um amniotic fluid all night long. I don't know if other people's babies do that. I think every baby does that. I don't know, but Taylor was in the NICU. Davis did it. Savea had, and she did it. So, um, so every so often I'd wake up to her throwing up, and I'd have to sit her up and get her cleaned up, and it was a process. So then I'd lay her back down and finally get her to sleep, and then the nursery nurse would come in, and they she would wake her up, and then she's like, "Okay, well here you go." It's like, thanks. So now I have to get her back to bed. I mean, occasionally she'd be like, "Don't we take her into the nursery now?" I'm like, "No." I just didn't want her to go into the nursery because um, we actually ended up staying in a room that was not on the regular maternity floor. Um, it was a lot bigger, a lot nicer, um, so they moved me up there. The problem was is they have a security system for all the babies, um, so if they get taken off the maternity floor, an alarm will go off and the hospital goes in lockdown. Um, but where I was, they did not have that security, so um, it just made me nervous her leaving me. Um, where it was just up to this nurse to take her all the way there safely. I mean, I know it sounds silly. It was probably fine, but, um, it made me nervous. So I didn't want her to leave my side. Like I even went to the bathroom in the night once and like totally panicked. I was like, Oh my gosh, she's just sitting out in the room all by herself. Somebody could totally come and take her. <laughs> and so like the rest of the night I wheeled her over to the bathroom door. And so I could see her when I went to the bathroom, <laughs> which was kind of funny, but I just was nervous that she was going to get taken. So, <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, so that was the first night. And then the next night, and they took her belly rubin levels in the night. They were 3.4, and they said, oh, that's great. I don't think she'll be jaundiced. And both my other kids were super jaundiced. So I was so excited. And then they took her blood levels in the morning right before we left. Um, and they came back at, I think it was 7 point something. So they said it was too high. And um, they were going to have to do belly lights. So I was so bummed. Um, so they brought the belly lights to our house. Um, it was a much better belly light this time. It had like a blanket for her to lay in. Um, I think I've talked about this a little bit in another video. I don't remember, though. <laughs> it's been a while since I did it. Um, but she ended up being on them for three days. Um, and we got her off of them. And she's been good ever since. Besides, she has reflux. Reflux now. I always say reflux. It's reflux. Anyways. Um, reflux. Really bad. She's been sleeping horrible. She was sleeping from like 11 to 3. And that's all she was sleeping. Um, I mean, she was sleeping, but it was like she was grunting and groaning and whining and then occasionally just screaming and she would throw up everywhere and I'd have to hurry and sit her up because she couldn't catch her breath and yeah, it was a long first two weeks, but I just got some medicine today, so hopefully that will help her. Um, she's fast asleep. I told you she nurses and she's out cold within like two minutes, um, <laughs> but hopefully that'll help her tonight. Last night she slept awesome. Um, I gave her some, um, like the gas drops before bed because like I said, she swallows a ton of air. Um, and Jake stayed up with her and cuddled her and just rubbed her belly. And he said that he, she was getting rid of a lot of air. And then, um, he brought her up and laid her down and she slept until almost three o'clock this morning. And I went to bed at like, 10. So that was the longest stretch of sleep I've had since she was born. And it was awesome. And then she went right back to sleep. I slept so good last night in comparison. Although I'm still exhausted. I'm still playing catch up, I think. Um, but I, it felt amazing to get some sleep. But yeah, overall, we've been really good. Um, I'll do a separate video since I've already kind of conjoined these um, on the boys' transition to her. And um, yeah. But that's all, really. There is my labor and delivery and the first few days update. And I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.